Hey Smashers, welcome back, it's Jansen here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the D word. That's right, differentiation. So for those of you that are active sellers already or know quite a bit about Amazon FBA, you'll know just how important differentiation is. The reason being that Amazon is very, very competitive. There's no like question about that. So in order to do well, in order to absolutely smash it, you need to make sure that you are able to offer something to all the other customers out there that nobody else can. You need to make sure that a customer sees your listing and they go, wow, that looks brilliant versus everyone else. I'm really happy to click on this listing. I'm really happy to press add to cart and to buy. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you a couple of techniques and tricks that I use in order to think of different ways to make the product unique, in order to make it that whole complete solution and to basically provide the, uh, the customer with the confidence that you are the right person to buy from. So hopefully this is gonna be something that you guys find very valuable. If you do enjoy it, please remember to like and subscribe. So let's get straight into it and I'm gonna show you these top secret tips. Okay, so here we are on the Amazon website and what we're gonna be searching for today are um, retractable dog leashes. If you watched my video, a couple of videos back on Fiverr where I paid someone to do my product research, the best product, believe it or not, was a retractable dog leash. And that was the best of a bad bunch, I think it's fair to say. So I thought given that dog leashes are very, very competitive, it'd be quite a, a good experiment, I suppose, for me to go into Amazon and basically look for something to differentiate so that you can see exactly how I think about making a product unique so that a customer wants to buy from me and nobody else. So we've typed in dog leash retractable and the first thing that comes to mind when I'm kind of scanning down here is that basically every single leash looks exactly the same. There are very few pictures that are unique and this I'd say is definitely one of the easiest ways to make yourself unique and to make yourself kind of like stand out from others just by having a picture that looks quite compelling and makes a customer want to click. So out of all of these, I mean they're not incredible all of them but i would say this one here is quite good at kind of being a bit different to the others in that it's got somebody actually using the leash a very small picture so you can see a dog and a person and then it also has like a little infographic in the corner now although this isn't an absolutely incredible picture i would say that it is better than like this one here or this one here for example this is basically like apart from price or something like that why would a customer click this one here versus this one over here they both look very very similar so the thing that i would do guys is the first step i would take is just basically search on amazon and look through all the different pictures all the different um, main hero images they're called and for every one that you see that you kind of like, you think, yeah, that's quite a good idea, I would literally just take a snapshot of it, copy it, and paste it into a Word document so that hopefully by the end of the exercise, you've got some good ideas about what you can imitate and what you can improve upon to make your listing image stand out even more. And then here as well, you've got another one, see, instead of just a normal black retractable dog leash, he's got like pictures of dogs so people can kind of resonate with it and be like, oh, that's cute, and click on it. Honestly, anything like that does help. Now officially, having additional pictures and text and things like that on your main hero image isn't officially compliant with Amazon's policy. However, I've done it with a number of my products in the past and I've never faced issues. So I would say it is worth a try to try and get your listing to stand out even more and to pique the customer's interest. So that's the first thing I do guys, is just basically scan through and look at all the pictures and see where you can improve. However, that is not the only thing you should do. When you're differentiating with Amazon, uh, with your products on Amazon, you should be trying to do as much as humanly possible. So the next thing I would do is I'd just click into one of the listings and I'd be thinking, I wonder if there's anything that I can bundle, which means like including an, an additional product with your main product for free to kind of increase the level of value that you're providing to the customer. Now, some people fall down the trap of thinking that bundling is an automatic way to differentiate and it's a clear winner. What I would say to that is, please only, dif only differentiate by bundling if you think it is actually going to 
add value to the customer and if the customer will actually want it. So for example, with this dog leash, I wouldn't just randomly include like, I don't know, a picture of a dog or something like that. If I didn't think that the customer would see that and be like, hey, that's a really good idea. I'd like that, therefore I'm gonna buy. So only bundle, only provide like an ebook or an additional free item if you genuinely think that it really will like help the customer and it's something that they will actually want. So in order to get ideas for things to bundle, one thing that I like to do is I'll typically come onto a few of these listings and I'll scroll down and I'll look at the frequently bought together. So in this example, it's not actually that helpful. It's just another dog leash. I'll look at that first of all. Then I'll look at customers who viewed this also viewed. Now again, typically it'll just be competitors items, but sometimes you'll also get like other products that are related. So let's just have a look here. Or alternatively, you'll see other products that are bundling as well um, that could give you a good idea of something to include yourself. So here it looks like there's an LED light. So that could be a possible example. Or I think I saw like a doggy poo bag. That's another one as well. Okay, so then once I've done that, and then I'll also scroll down, and then you'll also get here, this section here, customers who bought this also bought. So again, you can kind of have a look through that, and look here, it says like pet hair remover, we've got a camera, that's obviously gonna be too much, furniture protector, maybe against dogs or something like that. Um, but basically guys, this is exactly what I do. I'd be looking through all of these things to try and generate ideas to see like if there's anything that I can think of to provide with the product that the customer is gonna like and therefore buy from me. Now, if after following those steps there, you are still racking your brains for a product to be a bundle item, then guess what? I've got a website here that is gonna basically give you even more ideas if you still can't find one there. So the website is called yassiv.com and basically what it does is just does what I've just shown you there with the products related to when customers also bought. It does that but on a much grander scale. So you can head over to yassiv.com and we can type in dog leash retractable. Now this is actually for amazon.com rather than .co.uk but I don't think it matters too much. Okay, so then we search, um, as soon as we put in the keyword, we search for it and let it do its magic. And as soon as it's loaded, you'll be presented with this big like spider chart, which you can kind of zoom in or a flow chart. I'm not really sure how to describe this. Um, but in any case, it is a fantastic like visual representation of all the items that people buy in addition to the item that we've just searched for. So what you can do is kind of zoom in and like hover over it to be told different items. Or alternatively, what I like to do is just look in this side bar here, which basically summarizes them. So you can see here like dog poop bags, which are earth rated. So that could be quite a good one. I think it just means that they're environmentally friendly. Then we've got like a dog harness. We've got shampoo and conditioner, all things like that. And you can see there's 503 products here. So you have got plenty to play with. Then the final thing that I like to do, and this is the absolute killer that I don't think many other people think to do at all, is to use a tool provided by Helium 10 called the Review Downloader. Now I'm gonna show you quickly how to use that. So you load up the product page that you're on, you click into Helium 10 and then you press review downloader. Now what I like to do is basically filter out for the one, the two and the three stars and just press extract. And what this is gonna do now is basically go through all of those reviews um, on that listing there that I was on and show me all of the one, the two and the three stars. And the reason that we want to do that is to find out what other customers are complaining about. So if we look through here, we can see, okay, so someone here said, yes, it's easy to easy to hold and feel sturdy and well-made. So that's something that we may need to make sure that we nail. And then it said there's just one problem. There is no press to temporarily lock mechanism. So there you go. Straight away, we can think of an additional thing that we need to have on our product in order to differentiate and be different. We need to have one of those press to lock buttons, which to me sounds like basic that absolutely every dog leash should have but obviously this one doesn't, so we need to make sure that ours does. What else have we got? The lead doesn't retract very easily when it's out, you have to keep pressing the button to get in. So it sounds like this one here 
has got problems with the leash, uh, with the button for the leash. So what I would say is when you're looking for a product, let's just say you were selling this, I would be getting samples from suppliers and I would be making damn sure that my press the button mechanism worked flawlessly and I would be going through all of these reviews here to make sure that my product didn't have any of those problems. Like these are all such good, easy ways to differentiate. Make sure that your product has this and honestly, you will do well because you've got a clear differentiator, haven't you? As soon as you start selling your product that fixes these problems, you're gonna start getting five-star reviews and it's gonna be a snowball effect to getting more sales, climbing your organic rank, more five-star reviews, more sales, more profit, happy days. So that is another top tip from me. Make sure if you haven't got Helium 10, you use this. If you don't want to pay for it, I think there's a, um, I've got a 50% voucher in the description below. If you don't want to pay for it, then simply you can just go on the reviews themselves and filter for one, two, and three stars. However, if you do decide to do it manually, then you won't be able to use the analysis tool that Helium 10's review downloader provides, which basically will automatically filter through all of the one, the two, and the three stars, and it will pick pick out the most common things that are wrong with that product. So let's just demonstrate now. I can't do it on that one there because I don't think there are enough reviews on it. So let's go on this one here. It's got 287 reviews. So quite a few more. And guys, what I would say is don't just do this for one product. When you're doing your product research and looking to differentiate, you should be doing this for like, I'd say most of the front page. And honestly, I promise you, you will have tons of ideas for how you can differentiate. So let's just click into review downloader for this product here. One, two, and three stars. They've got quite a lot of 10%. Uh, they've got 10% of one star, so quite a lot. So again, here you've got um, problems here for you to solve. And then if we go into analysis, um, what can we see here? So you can basically just have a quick skim through for keywords that like, come through. So poor quality, coming unlocked, difficult to lock the lead, manage to chew, so maybe it's something that's chewable and the dog can cut through it reel in and out and all things like that. So again, guys, that's something that is a fantastic way for you to be able to differentiate. So basically guys, after watching this video, there should be no excuse for not being able to differentiate. So just to recap, I would say the first thing you should always, always do is look through all of the pictures, the main hero images of competitors, and basically look for a way to make yours stand out and be unique so that you can get the customer to click on yours. And I'd also say, guys, that also applies to your pictures in general. Make sure that your pictures are as good, if not better, than all of your competitors. And the easiest way to do that, the exact way that I did it, is I just spent about half an hour going through every single one of my competitors' photos, copying them all into a Word document. After I got like 50 pictures, I then just went through each one, deleted the ones that I didn't like and kept the best ones. And then as soon as I got that, I showed them to my designer and said, Here's some like uh, material for you to work on. Make sure you do mine even better. So that's the first first thing that I do. Then the second thing I would do is to search for your product, your product niche, and go through each listing and look through like sponsored listings related to customers also bought, customers also shop for, all things like that, so that you can think of a possible product to bundle with your main product. And if you're still struggling for ideas after that, then I would head on over to yassiv.com, which basically will give you hundreds of ideas if you're still struggling. But remember, don't bundle just for the sake of it. And then finally, my top tip, the one that I would say you 100% should be doing, in addition to those other ones, is to use the Helium 10 review downloader or manually go through them yourself to find out exactly what other customers are complaining about and make sure that you absolutely nail it and you get that right for your product. So hopefully guys, after watching this video, you can now differentiate till the cows come home. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and give a like. And of course guys, I will see you next time for another tutorial video.